Invulnerable, the most powerful tanks in the world. M1A2 Abrams, United States of America. The Abrams M1A2 is a new generation tracked combat tank designed for the US Army. The latest update of the tanks goes under the name M1A2 SEP. First of all, the armored car became deeply computerized. New processors for processing operational information and flat screens of higher resolution are installed inside the machine. The main gun of the tank is a 120mm XM256 smoothbore gun with manual loading. It is capable of firing a variety of ammunition that hits armored vehicles, infantry and low-flying aircraft. The tank has a range of 426 kilometers and a top speed of 67.5 kilometers per hour. Abrams is produced for different battlefields in different modifications. For urban battles, the tank is equipped with a mounted task protection kit. Merkava MK4 Israel the tank entered service with the Israel Defense Forces in 2004 and is considered to be one of the most protected tanks in the world. The Mark IV is equipped with a 120mm smoothbore cannon capable of firing XIT and explosive rounds, as well as LAHAT anti-tank guided missiles. The tank develops a maximum speed of 64 km per hour. Leclerc France The Leclerc is a French main battle tank designed for the French Army, also used by the UAE Army. In January 1992, the French Procurement Agency received the first such sample. The Leclerc is a third-generation tank equipped with a 120mm NATO standard CN-120-26 smoothbore gun a coaxial 12.7mm machine gun and a 7.62mm machine gun on the roof. Automatic charging made it possible to reduce the crew to three people and significantly reduce the mass of armor and therefore increase the mobility of the vehicle. Innovative modular armor made of steel, ceramics and Kevlar provides complete protection for the crew from mines and RPGs. Challenger 2 UK The main battle tank of the British and Royal Army of Oman is the Challenger 2. The capabilities of the tank were demonstrated during the fighting in Bosnia, Kosovo and Iraq, where it positioned itself as the most reliable main battle tank in the world. The main weapon of the Challenger 2 is a 120mm L30 Charm Cannon while secondary weapons include a chain cannon and a turret-mounted 7.62mm machine gun. The tank can carry 50 armor-piercing, stabilized fins, armor-piercing feathered shells with a folding pallet, high-explosive fragmentation squash heads, as well as 4,000 rounds of 7.62mm caliber. Type 10 TKX Japan. The Type 10 is an advanced fourth generation main battle tank developed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for the Japan Ground Self Defense Force. He entered service in 2012 and differs among others in mobility. The Type 10 is armed with a 120mm Ryan Metal L44 smoothbore gun. It is complemented by a 7.62mm machine gun and a 12.7mm Brownie M2 machine gun. The tank received modular protection with the ability to replace damaged parts. Since it is designed for asymmetric warfare, it received equivalent protection from all sides of composite Kevlar ceramic armor. Germany 2A7 Plus Leopard Leopard 2 is one of the most exported European tanks and the most produced Western tank 
after the American Abrams. The Leopard 2A7 Plus is an upgrade of the Leopard 2A6, armed with a 120mm Rheinmetall smoothbore gun with a 55 caliber barrel. It is also possible to upgrade the Leopard 2A4 or Leopard 2A5 variant with a short 120mm gun with 44 caliber barrel length to the latest Leopard 2A7 Plus standard. The tank has reinforced armor, including side projections and the bottom. In the latter case, mine protection is increased. South Korea K2 Black Panther With a price tag of over $8.5 million per tank, this is one of the most expensive combat vehicles in service in the world today. In addition, having entered production only in 2013, the Black Panther is one of the newest tanks in the world today. Korean designers were able to implement in this car all the latest achievements, providing it with the kind of world leadership in the use of the latest technologies. K2 Black Panther is capable of automatically detecting, identifying, tracking and firing at targets without operator intervention. The hydro-pneumatic suspension of the tank provides the tank not only with variable ground clearance, leveling the sidewall or changing the angle of the longitudinal axis of the machine, but also, thanks to the new ISU system, automatic individual control of the suspension units of each road wheel is provided, which eliminates vibration when driving over rough terrain or on cone. China Type 99A The Type 99 main battle tank was developed by China to replace the aging Type 88. It has been in production since 2001, while the 99A has been in production since 2011. More than 4,000 Type 99 tanks were produced, making it one of the most numerous tanks on this list, but still far behind the Abrams of which more than 10,000 were produced. Interestingly, these tanks are not allowed to be exported abroad. A feature of the 99A is the presence of a laser-active countermeasures complex capable of disabling various optical devices, blinding enemy gunners and operators of anti-tank guided missiles. 1,500 HP engine provides almost 55-ton machine with good mobility. Russia T-90MS The T-90 is a third-generation Russian main battle tank that first entered production in 1993. In fact, it is a modernized version of the T-72, the main example of Soviet tank building. The main armament of the T-90 is a 125mm 2A46M smoothbore tank gun as well as a 12.7 NSV remote-controlled anti-aircraft heavy machine gun. The weapon system allows you to destroy targets from the spot, on the move, day and night, in conditions of poor visibility with all types of ammunition, including those with remote detonation from the place of the commander and gunner. The T-90 MS tank has all-round multi-level protection against conventional ammunition, guided artillery shells, ATGMs and RPGs, while maintaining the low silhouette, optimal weight, high mobility and ability to overcome the most difficult obstacles traditional for Russian tanks. The T-90 MS tank has a high level of protection and survivability. This brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it and please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. And we'll see you next time 